Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's cedar siding. That ain't that ain't asbestos. I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't know what kind of cedar. Oh, that's cedar shape. Oh, all right. You want to clip how real? Oh, no. It's so rare and to come across these kind of houses, you know. Oh. Now all you see is all these, you know, modern houses uh -huh, like this. Uh -huh. And when we pull up, and even just your trees in the front, you know, the magnolia trees, that oak tree. The house is unfortunately it's going to come down yeah, this right. summer, most likely. Well, let's get inside and find these people. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ed here. Yeah. Hey, Rick and Ralph. Hey, good time, Charlie. I'm here. He's here. He's he's on the jump. He's on the first floor. <laughs> Ralph and I were on the second story. Today we're in Metairie, Louisiana, Old Metairie. And today is January the 5th. And it's really cold today. When we left the, uh, the North Shore, it was 31 degrees. When we pulled up here, it was 38 degrees. So it's still chilly, but not chilly enough to remove some bees. This house that we're removing the bees for, what an interesting story. The homeowner, Tori, he gave us a little talk about the house and all the history behind it. Check this out. <laughs> my brother's going to see a lot of the floors. And your mom and dad lived here for how long? Uh, 67 we moved in. Wow. It was a uh, second owner's. And you're right, these are 10 foot ceilings in here. Yeah. They might even be higher than that. This used to be part of the pattern. Beautiful woodworking. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, this, this is such a beautiful house. Oh, thank you. There's, there's just yeah. so much history in here. When are you going to have your garage sale? I might come. Uh, uh, they're talking about maybe April. My brother's wife and her friends are going to kind of hold through the whole thing. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely come. Yeah, that's a beautiful furniture. Uh -uh. when, did, when did you say the house was built? Uh, sometime in the late 20s, I believe, but I'm not sure. There is a map somewhere of the whole layout of the street, which is dated. And uh, if I could find that, I'll show it to you. I don't know where it is. Last time I saw it, it was in another room. Well, check out these the hardware on these cases. I was looking at the way they crank out. Yeah, well, no, they lift up and then they push out. I think. Well, they probably don't work anymore. But that is some. Oh, it's been a long time. That's yeah. some serious hardware yeah. on, on that. I, I mean, I haven't seen this yeah, type of yeah, hardware I ever. I was looking at it while you was talking. That is really cool. As they just built things so much better. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, they didn't have, uh, I guess, the precision made windows and such, so everything was run more by hand. Yep. You had to kind of hand tune yeah, everything. Yeah, those, those are real lead windows, huh? Lead, that I know like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, that, that's definitely really valuable stuff right there. I mean, that's like, um, yeah, he's a demand for that. He's planning on saving a lot of the. Things in the house. The French the doors. Yeah, you see those doors, French doors. Windows. And I like that hood. It's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. such a. And somebody made Lead. that because that's yeah, that's that's like Lead look look at whatever. that curve in it, Ralph. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. That really is. We were going to take it off, but it just was going to make I don't know too much of a mess. There was peeling paint all over it. But it is that it's it's lead, all that stuff? Uh, it's either lead or tin. Or tin. tin. No, it's tin. It's just yeah. galvanized. But still We weren't sure the paint was lead. <laughs> to, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to get that to get those curves, because that's like an OG. Yeah, that, somebody that, somebody put some artist. serious effort into that. Man, that is really, really And you can see the house beautiful. used to have gas. Yeah, lanterns. <laughs> Yeah, the transom is over your doors to let the air come in in the summertime. Yeah, yeah. The back porch is where we would cook. Mm -hmm. little barbecue. I mean, even look at the upper cabinets. That's so. I don't know if this is cypress or oh, what. Oh yeah, that's all cypress. I would bet. Oh, me too. And and you see the way they did your adjustable shelving is such a great way of. Charlie, come see this. This this is the, like. Oh yeah, wood. So what happens yeah, is they, they put these. They put these tracks in here, and there's four tracks, one on, one on each corner, and the tracks are all built, cut at the same time, so that these bars right here, they pop out, and they're cut, notched, so that they sit in these grooves, and you move the bars, and then you move the shelf, and that's how they, that's how they used to make adjustable shelves like that, and there's different 
styles, because I've made different styles of those, uh -huh. where they're rounded and it's just a rounded end bar, but these are notched. But it's really, this is really, you don't see, you never see this anymore. It's interesting to see how a house was made back in the old days. Oh my goodness. Compared to today. Yeah. This is, this is, I mean, I, I, I did mill work for mm -hmm. 20 years, and this is the stuff that I did. And, uh -huh. You know, like when, when you do the, the casement windows like this, uh -huh. where you have a bevel on each side so that's overlapping, yeah. and you have like an astrical strip, but it's part of the wood. I mean, this is... Every measurement just has to be perfect, doesn't it? I mean... And, and after all these years, and that thing is still opening and closing beautifully. Right now, we're still in the process of just getting everything out of this place. What, what did your, your dad do? Uh, our family's been in the coffee business. Uh, my grandfather, my great grandfather, started it in 1903. Uh, Riley Company, uh, Louisiana, CDM yeah. coffee, um, and uh, Louisiana tea. Can we? Can I use all this stuff in my video? Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> sure, sure, it's all right. Uh, yeah, and so, uh, yeah, we still have, it's still a family business. It's not on the open market, you know, the stock isn't, but, uh, uh, and we've, over the years, bought a few more companies like Blue Plate, Mayonnaise, uh, some salad dressing companies, little, little stuff. Uh -huh. It all kind of adds up. Yeah. <laughs> so today, our, our bees, <laughs> Yeah. Ralph, can you jump up there and show me the bees? <laughs> they are up there. The the way this house is laid out, it's just it's just different. That's all I can say. But the architectural detail of this house is it's just great. Oh, this is the stuff that that people prize, and you're not going to believe it, but they're tearing the house down. And the reason they're tearing a lot of repair. Yeah, and, and the reason they're tearing down is because to repair, to restore this house would actually cost more than to build a brand new again. So they're going to salvage the, the architectural details, the, the woodwork, the lots of deep stuff that they'll salvage and then they'll put back into, into the new house. But for that house to get begin to get destroyed, we got to remove bees. You see that? Ralph knows what we're doing. we got to take the bees out. But to get to the bees, for us to get to them, we have to go through how many steps of stairs? Well, it seems like five flights, but they short. You might do ten, and then ten, and then ten again. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a real trip to, to get up. It's a real trip to get up in here. But by the grace of God, we'll get these bees out of here. Uh, Charlie says two hours, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This looks like it's gonna be involved. <laughs> We will get them out here, and they are going back up to the Abbey with me. So you guys ready to wrangle? We're ready. Ready. Ready Let's to go. go. Let me take you inside <laughs> and show you what we have to go through just to get to the location of these bees. As we go through the little garage area, we hit our first set of stairs. Now as we walk up the stairs, come to another landing, and now into the what would be the very front of the house right here step up there and then we come up to another landing and there's the door where Ralph and I went out to, to that little balcony out there turn to our left and we walking up another set of stairs and look at the beautiful stair the handrail and these stairs gorgeous there's so much beautiful stuff in this house As we turn to get to the third story, we're almost there because now we have to get up to the final story, which is there's that the window from the um, from the bedroom right here, and there's record Ralph and Good Time Charlie, and this is where our bees are. Well, Wrangling bees. <laughs> It's uh, it's always going to be a surprise, and this old house, uh, what what we were getting in the floor, the signature that we were getting in the floor was all radiant heat from downstairs. It was coming down uh, from the downstairs, radiating up, and we were picking up that that signature. And I never did get a really strong signature, but based on what the homeowner had told me, um, that 
another beekeeper had come in here last year to find and locate the bees and he had found he had got a signature right here well that's why we made that assumption well maybe it's just a weak hive and not a lot of bees so when we opened this up it was there's nothing there's nothing in, in here not even insulation or anything so we went downstairs and looked again nothing downstairs so we came back upstairs and we shot the flare and look at this. <laughs> you think that's some bees? They are in the ceiling. Let me show you where the dots are. Here they are, right there. And more than likely, I'm hoping that where this little knee wall is, that there's going to be a stop for the bees. So. The homeowner said, because the wrecking ball is coming for this house, it doesn't matter what we do. And wreck it, Ralph got a big old smile on his face when he said that. Mm -hmm. And he's just he's just rubbing his hands together, itching to get in here. Still smiling. <laughs> to get at these bees. All right, we found our bees. Let's see if we can get them out now. Ralph's got a little hole right here. He's going to try to make an access to see if we've got blockage behind here for the bees not to come up. And just for us to see now, I think that as soon as we cut through here, we're going to have bees coming out. So we'll find out. I'll cut one little hole first and see. That's the old comb right there, Ralph. Yeah. We're gonna have to go up higher. Yeah. So first thing we gotta do is um, get this out of the way. Yeah. Pull this off. Take the sheetrock off to here. Mm -hmm. So that we can access the area. So we can access it. the area behind it. Yeah. Um, possibly have to take that one two by out this. Yeah, knock it out. Frame and two bar, mm -hmm. so we can get in there. And this we don't have to. We won't have to fool with no. this. I don't think we can just cut so you can access it. Yeah. All right, let's knock this apart. Everything in here is old. I see some honey right there dripping. And as we move up the hive, this empty stuff, but you see there's mold on that. We got lots of bees flying around. 
so we're going to start the vac and try to knock these numbers down a little bit. Let me see this. It's not a good angle for you to see just how big this is, but it's got to be every bit of five feet long. Look at this, sitting on the job. Hey, I can't I'm believe. I'm like JP. I got my chin. I mean, yeah. Well, we, we got the initial fire put out, I believe. We, we back end up, man, there, there's, this, there's a lot of bees in this hot. There's a lot of bees. Um, and they just came out in gangbusters. And as you can see, I mean, this cone, look how hot these bees are. When you put your hand on them, they're coming out. <laughs> not right now. Look, there you go. They, they're, they're not happy right now. Um, and as I'm looking down through that rafter, you can see all this comb. It's black as night. It, the bees aren't even on it. And as I look down the rafter, you can, I can see where old comb was, and it isn't there anymore. So this is just old comb that, that's been here from previous bees. Now what I want to do is I want to trap our bees. And for me to do that, I'm going to have to work from the bottom up. And what we've done is, is at this end of it, we stuck a towel up at the end of that rafter so that the bees can't crawl up that rafter anymore. And so what I'm going to do is start removing the comb from the bottom and vacuuming bees. And as I'm vacuuming, it's going to push the bees up and up and up. And eventually they're going to get into this space up here where they can't go anymore because the sheetrock is holding them in from each side of that joist. There are, like I said, a lot of bees in here and they really weren't happy that we decided to come and remove them today. But it's in their best interest that we do. And so I'm going to start which is really not what I would normally do, but I am going to start at this end and work my way up. The problem with, with working on, on the, the taking the comb out of this side is because our ceiling, our roof, it's on an angle. So it's going to be very difficult to get this comb off. I'm pretty much going to have to just tear it off due to that angle that that's, the comb is hanging on. But Man, I just can't get over the amount of bees in this hive. And I don't see a lot of stores. I haven't seen any brood yet, but I really haven't gotten that far into the into the comb. But there there is I see a bunch there is a bunch of honey right here, but it doesn't look like it's very organized. But these girls are in luck because we are going to give them the comb that Charlie and I did that removal last week on um, from from Mattery. Uh, it was a queenless hive and we're going to merge those bees with these bees and at the same time give these bees all that comb and stores that those bees have had. Because this comb is just going to be a disaster to try to frame up. It's so black and hard and old. Alright, enough talking. Let's go ahead and start doing some work, huh, Charlie? <laughs> you see her, Charlie? Pull the lights off. Come on, right get here. Her, get her, get her. You got it? Woohoo! Where's that kid? Behind you. Oh! Woo! Thank you, Jesus! Woo! Woo! Man, can you believe we found the queen in this mess? This is, I'm telling you, there are a lot of bees still in here. And boy, she's a plump one, man. A big old butt on this girl. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, yep, Randy could have found this one. Golly, she's a big one. All right, with her down, or in the cage at least, we can just vacuum up bees and, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go downhill fast now. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Amen. Man, that's a nice one. She's beautiful. Can we go to lunch now? No, two hours. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> well, folks, guess what? That's right. It ain't there no more. Boy, that is five feet of nasty right there. That.
comb. Oh, it that pitch, the angle on this roof made this thing impossible for me to to cut. So I just basically tore it off, and it was hard as iron. Oh my goodness! But we got it all out of there for the most part, and it won't matter because this house will be torn down before too long. All right, we're gonna. Load everything up in the truck and we're going to say our fond adieus. Okay, right. okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for this one I'm to ready. end. <laughs> this one, <laughs> you know, once we, once we located the bees, that was a big challenge. And then since Ralph was here, he, he just masterfully just demoed that site. Like, masterfully. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you, you are the pro. That's, that's why Thank you sir. wrangle with us. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, all, all these other times where we've been missing you, Oh, which wrong with me so we can have... Uh, poor Charlie. <laughs> poor well, I, Charlie. I don't like swinging a hammer. <laughs> poor Charlie. Well, all right, Charlie, so you were behind the camera the whole time? The whole time. I and, was in a safe area. And what did what did you think about what we did today? This thing was awesome. It was really big. I mean, uh, that's the most bees I've seen this winter. So far, yeah, that, that was... It had to be 30,000 30, bees? 30, 30, at least yeah. thirty, thirty-five. 35,000. They've been in there for some years, too. Now, yeah. I'd show you the bees, but I don't want to lose the heat. It's, it's probably about 50, 58 degrees or something like that. And, and so it's warmed up a lot, but we got to get back across the lake. And so I don't, I don't want the heat that's generated in the bee back. I don't want that to dissipate. So we got that covered up. So I can't show you that. Um, we did get a bunch of comb. It's nasty comb. But like I said earlier, the comb that Charlie and I got out of the hive last week, we're going to give that to these bees. We wound up with two or three combs of brood. Uh, three. three. So, and because I've got seven frames of honey, and then we'll frame up those three brood frames, and that'll fill up a ten frame because these bees are going to need ten frames. They will. So, yeah. mm -hmm. all right, what happened to you? What, what happened to you? I got stung. Oh, no. For oh, the first my. time in three weeks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, now you, I know you were really disappointed that the bees weren't in the floor, right? Yes, we but, did a lot of work to get them out the floor and then they weren't there. So. I saw that twinkle in your eye though, Ralph. But then when Jeff said I get to cut the wall out, I was like, okay, that makes up for everything. It was Christmas. Yeah, buddy. That and we found out the house is going to be demolished. So we didn't so that was easy it. picking yeah. up. That's right, it didn't matter. So our homeowner, Tori, um, you, the, the bees have been here, well, we don't know if they're these bees, but over how many years have these bees? It, it seems to me at least 10 years that uh, there's been a hive going in and out of that little spot up there. And and that the comb would be indicative of that fact that there's been bees in there, if not those bees. It looked mummified. Oh, it was, it <laughs> Mummy was, comb. It was hard as iron. It, it really, I couldn't have cut it with a knife. So your first time you've seen bees out like that, what do you think What do you think about that experience? Oh, it was awesome. I to be in this house and have the have the uh, wall pulled back and the room filled with these angry bees. You took a hit. I took a hit or two. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he did. I heard him. I heard yeah, him yelling. I heard him screaming. I, I got out of there. <laughs> it was a, it was quite a sight. You know, I'd seen bees before. My brother had raised bees up in Tennessee about uh, 30 years ago. He had oh, four wow. or five hives, and I helped <clears throat> helped him out with that a little bit. Well, now now that you've seen it firsthand, I know that as soon as we leave here, you're going to get on your phone and you subscribe to our, our, our B ranking. I am. I am. I got I to get on there and take a look at some of these videos. And you only got like 450 fun. of them. To right. Look I'll, I'll start tonight. Right. <laughs> I'll uh, be finished by the end of the week. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Anything else? That's it. Well, what, what, how, you know how we end these things, right? Thanks. For Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. God bless. All right, we're gonna keep choke. We're gonna start this thing all he over. Choke. I can't believe he hey, choked. Hey, Tori, Tori's got Thanks this. Thanks for watching, right? That's all you gotta say. All right, That's all you gotta say. All right, so we're gonna close it up. And, and your final thoughts, Tori. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> keep on watching, and we'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. Tori. 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 His name's Tori. <laughs> And good time, Charlie. And uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph! <laughs> We're out of here until the next video, guys. Thank y'all. God bless. Excellent.